Hey guys, I want to show off the Open Pandora console. This is a Linux computer and I've showed it in some of my other videos before but I want to show you guys some of the cool apps and games that I can run on it. And this actually comes with a lot of cool old ports and emulators and stuff. Like the, the Atari, it has with Apple II, Altair, uh, Commodore 64, it has like almost everything. DOS, um, SNES, even Neo Geo emulators is on here. You can all get it from the uh, open app market. That's uh, Linux. Since this is a Linux computer, it runs Angstrom, so you can run any Linux app on it. This is the simple menu UI that it comes with. And uh, yeah, a lot of cool apps are on it. Audacity, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Sync, I just downloaded all of these. Um, Firefox is there as well, and Filezilla, even Putty in the terminal. So the first one I want to show you is uh, Blake Stone. And actually, you can actually use your finger on here since this is actually a touch screen, so you can just touch it and it runs. So it's Wolfenstein 3D with a Blakestone skin on it. So the guy who ported this um, is basically a modder and uh, he, he made a, a Wolfenstein 3D mod that's basically to make it look like Blakestone. So, and this is really cool because I love Blakestone. And I guess there is no native Blakestone port on this, so this guy just yeah, this guy made a skin for it, so... So yeah, this is um, Wolfenstein 3D slash Blakestone playing on the Open Pandora. It's pretty cool. Alright, I just press the little logo to go back to the menu. Alright. And what else do I have? Minecraft, I have Minecraft on there. I haven't tried it yet. Um, even StarCraft, but you had to copy some sm some uh, files over. So I'm not doing that yet. Um, but maybe someday I'll show off StarCraft as well. Even Visual Boy Advance, that's the Game Boy Advance emulator. Okay, so let me try, so Ken's Labyrinth, this is a really cool game. Let me run that. I will just press start on it. Okay, Ken's Labyrinth is one of the first uh, first person shooters to come out, along with Catacomb Abyss and Wolfenstein 3D. So it's really cool to see that on here. Welcome to Ken's Labyrinth. Yep. Open door. This is a very uh, childlike or um, cartoonish feel to it, which is really cool for a first person shooter. And there's like guys attacking you, um, the spider. Here, come on. There you go. And get something from the vending machine, like an apple or something. Yep. More spiders. I think when you when you get hurt, um, Ken Ken himself, Ken Silverman, the inventor of the build engine, he actually voices the sound effects in this game. So he'll like say like something like "ouch" or something when you get hurt. Okay, there. I got my staircase. Nice. Nice job. I think that's Ken himself saying that. Which is really f funny. But yeah, this is Ken's Labyrinth playing... A port of Ken's Labyrinth playing on the open Pandora, which is cool. Alright, okay, next game. I'm gonna show you guys... Um, let's see, I have Daikatana on there too. This is like an old game. You even have a Python script running there. Sea Dogs is cool. I used to play that game with my brother a lot.
Okay, I want to find Tyrion. This is a game I want to run to. Um, Tyrion is like, if any of you remember Raptor, which was a uh, old uh, top-down shooter, the Tyrion is kind of similar to that game. And this is, used to be an old DOS favorite, old DOS classic. Yep. So. Let's see. Oh yeah, okay. I have to press the shoulder buttons. We got that the Pandora has shoulder buttons on the back. Okay, so press that to shoot. Um, this is pretty cool because Tyrion was an old DOS classic and uh, it's really cool to see a port of this on the open Pandora, on Linux basically. Okay, so yeah, this is um, this is Tyrion, and I can keep on playing this, but there's one other game I want to show you guys. guys, and that's Quick 3 Arena on the Pandora. Okay, so this is Open Arena, which I guess is the open source version of Quick 3 Arena. play this map so it's cool that they have a Linux version of of uh, Quick 3 Arena this is one of my favorite multiplayer games of all time <laughs> now I just I need a real tournament okay it's got my control set up here look up and down all right I think I can switch weapons by pressing these buttons up. Yep. Switch weapons. So yeah, this is playing a first person shooter on the open Pandora, just to show you guys that it does exist. Uh, I haven't played Quick 3 for a long time, so I'm pretty bad at this right now.
Oh. Anyways, yeah, that's uh, open arena, quick three arena on the open Pandora. All right, this is blood on the open Pandora. Blood was a pretty, I don't know, it was a pretty um, well-known first-person shooter back in the day because I see a lot of abandoned warrior sites have it. it. I think back then it was like Heretic, Hexen, uh, Blood was one of them, Power Slave, um, Duke 3D obviously, Shadow Warrior, and uh, Quake. A lot of these games that were on the abandoned warrior sites back then. But they were pretty popular DOS games for the time. Okay, there we go. I haven't played this game in a long time, so... I don't even remember. Is this how it really looked like? Here it was. I think this was using Ken Silverman's build engine. It was pretty popular back in the day. That's actually better than the pitchfork. I think I took. I think they had pistols or something. They must have been hitting me with that. Yeah, blow up. Okay. okay, yeah, this is uh, blood. Oh, you can do it. Pretty cool. Okay, and another game you can play on the Open Pandora is Angband. I'm gonna try this game. So this is a roguelike game. So for people who play these kind of games, you know, you it's basically an RPG, uh, a very DOS-like version of the RPG. And um, I used to play like NetHack back in the day, which is very similar. But Angband is like, it's it's like a version of that, and. Um, Let's see, here we go, new. Okay, so yeah, you can like roll your character stats, um, change your strength, intuition, like all these um, usual Dungeons and Dragons kind of uh, attributes are here. Your level, your equipment, and your race and everything. That's very Dungeons and Dragons like, so this is like a real game. And here we go. And yeah, this is Angband. I used to play this on DOS. So remember this game. You can buy like food, you can buy like items, uh, equipment. I think that's that's all there. Oops, FN. There. Um, potion restore intelligence. No, I'm fine. Okay, so you can use item, action command, use magic, and pray. Gain new spells or prayers. I used it. I learned a new spell. Uh, search for traps or doors. Look around. So these are all like a roguelike game where you used to be able to press commands on the keyboard. And um, they would do things like look around or target a monster or cough a potion or something like that. And uh, Angban is a, kind of like an, an evolution of uh, of that. It's still a DOS game, so it's still old, but it's uh, a little bit more refined, I guess. 
than some of these other games. Eat some food. I can eat uh, B3 rations of food. Okay, I ate two rations of food. Um, rest for a while. So yeah, this is um, how these roguelike games work. Okay, so there's a lot of filthy street urchins right here. I've slain the scrawny cat. Wow. Okay. Uh, detects all evil monsters. I don't, I don't care about that. Well, oh, there's a filthy street urchin here. And he stole something. He stole something from me. Okay, that's... Can buy some like chain mail. I can't buy, I don't have enough money right now. But yeah, um, for those who like these old school uh, adventure type of games where it's very simple and a lot a lot of imagination is well it's very adventurous and um, some imagination is required but overall I think a lot of people who are playing on these old Amigas and IBM PCs can remember these type of games, and uh, I like them. I think it's very fun. So this is Angband on the Open Pandora, and uh, yeah, it's a Dungeons and Dragons like game. And um, let's see, if we start that. Okay, this is another game called Ravage. So you can select that. Okay, I just use the touch screen, I guess. Okay, space. Sorry, space is fire. So this reminds me of Tyrion and Raptor, the way that it looks and feels. It's a top-down shooter, so it reminds me a lot of those games. So yeah, that's just an example of the type of games you can find on the Open Pandora. A lot of old school classics, ports, emulators, um, it's all in here. And um, yeah, so if you guys have any any questions about um, the system or the games or anything like that, then uh, let me know. And thanks for watching. Hey guys, today I want to play some DOS games on the Open Pandora since that is one of my favorite things to do on the Pandora. Uh, to compare, this is my NVIDIA Shield. The Pandora is much smaller than, than the Shield. I use the Shield mostly for emulators and uh, playing console emulated games. I have the Nintendo 64, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, ColecoVision, NES, PlayStation, Neo Geo, Master Gear, MAME, Dreamcast, uh, Commodore 64, the uh, TurboGrafx-16, SNES, PSP, Atari Lynx, Saturn, um, and 2600, GBC, and uh, Mega Drive, and Master System. Anyways, the NVIDIA Shield does everything pretty much for emulation since Android. I'm not sure which one does a better job, Android or Linux, since uh, Android was originally derived from Linux. But anyways, I use the NVIDIA Shield more for emulators and console gaming, whereas... The Pandora I use mostly for DOS gaming because it has a full QWERTY keyboard here that you can use for DOS games. So uh, let's start out. And before I start out, actually, I want to play a cool game that I didn't get to show you guys before, which is Chex Quest. Uh, this is um, kind of like Wolfenstein 3D or uh, Doom, except it's like 
a very special version that came in a cereal box before, so it's very limited. If you ever find it in uh, real life, it's very hard to find. And uh, fortunately, we have a port on the Pandora. So let's see. It's a very funny game. <laughs> You have very funny sound effects and uh, weapons here. I think I even have like a spoon. That's why I have a spoon. <laughs> I'm not sure what this actually does. Let's see. I try to kill someone with a spoon. Wow. Okay, I can kill him with a spoon. That's funny. But it looks like it's like a Wolfenstein 3D with a skin on it. Wow. Nope. Oh, fruit. Anyways, that is Chex Quest. Just wanted to show you guys that. And then let's uh, get on with DOSBox. Alright. Okay, so let's try the game here. Let's see. Okay, let's try some Jazz Jackrabbit since that's one of my favorite games to play when I was a kid. I think it's just Jazz. Oh yeah, the music in this game is pretty good. I love playing the old school DOS platformers like Jazz, Jackrabbit, Hocus Pocus, uh, Commander Keen, Biomenace, Monster Bash. Those are all great games. Alright, let's try. Jazz, Jackrabbit 2 is also really good. There we go. Yeah, it's like Sonic the Hedgehog for PCs. Basically, that's what this game is. It's Sonic for PCs. There we go. Alright, and that's Chaz Jackrabbit playing perfectly on the open Pandora. Okay, and now let's try another platformer. Uh, maybe Exargon. If you guys remember Exargon from Epic Games. Really wish Epic Games would re release their old classics just like Apogee did. There we go. There we go. Man, DOS platforming is so good. 
since I didn't have a console when I was a kid, so these are basically my equivalent of um, Super Mario and like Metroid and all those platformers. Yep, I think I beat this game before when I was a kid. But, um, that's Big Sargon. Alright. Just quickly show you that game, that's it. And then. Uh, What else we have? Maybe Jungle Jill, Jill of Jungle. Sorry, Jill of the Jungle. Also, one of my favorite platformers when I was a kid. There. Also by Epic Mega Games. Shoots this like boomerang that comes back to her. That's a pretty unique weapon. And there's also like levels where she turns into a frog and stuff. I think I beat this game as well. Okay, the jungle map is actually like, I mean, the, the, the map in this game is not an overhead map, it's just like, you go to different uh, stages, I guess. And it's like, okay, that's a one hit death. This game requires some skill to play because of the weapon, it's, uh, you have to wait until it comes back to you. So it takes some skill to fire two at a time even. Yeah. yeah, and basically I'm just not, I'm not playing very well because I just want to go through this quickly. But uh, yeah, that's, that's Jill of the Jungle. There's only a, a limited time for me to show you this game, so that's why. Um, because of YouTube, and I know you guys don't want to, like, look at this video for too long, so let's see what other stuff we have. I think you guys seen Commando Keen already in some of my other videos. Uh, One Must Fall, let's try that game. I used to play One Must Fall a lot, too, with my brother. It's one of the best, I think, um, it's one of the best, like, fighting games for DOS. It has great sound and music. One must fall. There we go. Oh, also by Epic. Okay. I think I played Stefan a lot. The um, there's different mobiles like Jaguar, Shadow, Thorn, Pyrus, Electros, Kronos. Okay. They all have their own special moves. Oh 
Oh my god. Alright, winner. Okay, anyways, that's One Must Fall 2097. Great game. Okay, let's see what else we can do. Um, we could, we could of course, win Shadow Warrior. Classic game from 3D Realms. It's uh, using the build engine the same as Duke Nukem 3D, Ken's Labyrinth, Power Slave, those kind of games. Oh, whoops, did I not configure the sound on this? Hold on. Set up. Let's configure the sound blaster code on this. Yeah, back then, before if you ran games, you have to configure the sound code first. Otherwise, you won't have sound. Okay, there. Now it should get sound on it. Valid or conflicting IRQ. Huh. Okay, that's weird. The sound's not working on this one. Huh. Let me try a different game then. The Shadow War is a pretty cool game. It's too bad the sound doesn't work. Um, what else? I'm gonna try Turok. Uh, not Turok. Uh, Rise of the Triad. That's a great game. Okay, Rise of the Triad, another great game using the build engine. This is like one of the first uh, LAN games that I ever played, is Rise of the Triad, I think. Okay, very good. You can dual wield, which is really cool. And there's like cool jump pads and like yeah, really cool weapons, like there's like inferno weapons and stuff, flamethrowers and I think you, there's even a dog mode in this game. Heat seeking missiles, I think those are all I think they're called drunken missiles. Yeah, those are all in this game, which is really cool. Multiplayer is one of the best things about this game. These are the jump pads, here we go. Jump pad on that. Oh wow, I died. That is Rise of the Triad, which is a great game. Another game I want to show you guys is um, a game called Highway Hunter. It's not very well known, but it's one of the games I played a lot when I was a kid. Oops, that is 
got that. Oops, I did a wrong command here. Okay. Okay, there we go. Highway Hunter is um, basically a top down shoot em up with using a car. The music is really good. I don't know who composed this, but the music is, is really good in this game. There we go. So, uh, top down shoot em up using a car on a highway, and you can get like upgrades and stuff. Just like in a, any other shoot em up. shields and stuff. Oh my god. I don't think I was that bad. I beat this game before. Okay, I know I, I can beat at least the first level. Just for this video. <laughs> Weapon does a flasher. W combo, that's the weapon I have now. Just ram the shield into him, and hopefully his boss is done. Yep, so there's Highway Hunter, great game. Used to play it a lot. I think this was actually the first DOS game I ever played, which is uh, amazing. And yeah, the music is pretty amazing in this game too. Alright, that's Highway Hunter. Let's see what else we have. Doug's son, I want to show you guys that sometime. Let's try Halloween Harry. It's another uh, side scrolling game, platformer that I like. Wow, it's fast. Here's my jetpack. Okay, so switch weapon. Jetpack fire, okay. This is the opposite problem of Monster Bash on this thing. Monster Bash ran too slow, this thing runs a little bit too fast. Oh, I forgot center. The thing is the enemies come back to life within uh, within a few minutes, which is really annoying. You can flamethrower them, but then come back to life. Well, there you are. See, we respawn. They respawn. It's really annoying.
It's a little bit too fast. I can't play. <laughs> but yeah, that's a good game though. I like he's how he's using a PDA. Oh, wait. What else we got? Um, you guys seen Hexen? Hexen is also using Build Engine, I think. It's like the sequel to Heretech, which is almost the same game. And just think of this game as like Doom, except you can choose a class. I'll choose Mage. It's like Doom with a class on it. start. <laughs> Here it takes like this too, when you start the game, you just get a whole bunch of enemies right on your ass. It's just crazy. I haven't played this game for a long time. See, look at all the enemies already. Holy crap. Alright, oh, I'm almost dead already. <laughs> that is Hexen. Quick too. I believe quick two is okay on this. Some games. Oh, this game can't run in DOS mode. Okay, guess not. Um, Kilo Blaster. That's a good game. Kilo K file one. Okay, that's it. This game has really cool music and sound effects. <laughs> yeah. Prepare for battle. That's right. Wow. Wow. I love the sound effects in this game. So. Wow. Wow. I. So funny. Are the best. Ooh. Ooh. I think that's someone actually saying that. Can you imagine who made these sound effects? They must be in just some room somewhere. <laughs> they must be just in some room somewhere. And then, like, they made these sound effects for this game. And they say, like, ooh and stuff. Funny. Okay. And let's see what else we have. Um, you guys have seen Blake Stone already. Um, and the other is probably you've seen other videos. Ken's Labyrinth, Catacomb, Abyss. I think I've shown Catacomb, Abyss, right? Or not? Because that's also one of the first first person shooters, along with Ken's Labyrinth, Wolfenstein 3D, Ultima 3D, I think. Those are some of the really early first person shooters. And um, Elder Scrolls Arena, that's another one. I think it's a Kata Abyss. This game scared me a lot when I was a kid. Because um, it had like giant eyeballs and teleporting. Yeah, teleporting giant eyeballs and like demons and stuff. This is really not like a game 
you want to play late at night. When I was a kid, I was just terrified of this game. Ah uh, yes, this is um you can definitely see how primitive th primitive this is. But this was like ID Software's first first person shooter. That's right. It's even older than Wolfenstein 3D. So before they made Wolfenstein, ID made um Catacomb of this. You start out with this graveyard with a lot of zombies and stuff. And later on you'll face like demons and elves and trolls and stuff. Yeah, this game is really spooky. <laughs> Even though there's no music. It's kind of scary. Oh my god. You can do like hidden passages, a lot of these. Oh man. There's a key. Oh my god. There. I can like shoot in a circle with by pressing X, and I can shoot in a line by pressing Z. You know, those are these two special moves. Yep. Oh. And yeah, there's a lot of hunting for keys and stuff in this game. It really is like a... It takes a while. I beat this game before, but it takes a while. Okay. Things are getting very nasty in the catacombs. You can see all the horrible creatures there. Really frightening. Okay. For a kid, anyway. Um, let's try Bio Menace, and then... B Menace 1. I play this a lot too. Okay, um, the game. There we go. Standard side scrolling platformer. You can actually buy this game still on Steam. It's on the uh, it's in the Apogee. Apogee Anthology, or um, yeah, the flat Apogee anth Anthology, and you can buy it still. God, remember when games were really difficult to play? You die in like a single hit, almost, almost a single hit. Throw grenades. Yep. There we go. Yep. I beat this game too when I was young. That's uh, Bio Menace. The last game I want to show you guys. You guys have seen Commander Keen, I think, already. So I won't show that. Um, is um, Death Dwellers. Yeah. This game is really funny, because it was like not really well known back in the day, but man, the sound effects are amazing in this game. Try soft. <laughs> yeah, the sound effects are the best in this game. And me and my brother actually like played this on the car stereo when we drove. And it was so funny just like hearing this on the car stereo. Can you just imagine like playing this on like a loudspeaker and stuff? Hey! Boo boo. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, we just like hooked it up to the car stereo and then we. <laughs> We, we played this, it's so funny. <laughs> hey! Oh. 
wow. He has a cannon in the middle of his chest. Great design. Hey. Alright, that's enough of that. It's not a good game, but it's just hilarious. <laughs> I think with Blake Stone, it has like the best sound effects. Anyways, that's um, DOSBox on the Open Pandora. I've seen you. I've shown you guys quite a few games on here already. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions about these games.